What the hell? All you cool cats and kittens. What's that name? What's that woman's name from Tiger King? What up, to Campos? Handsome guy, you. So uh, this is going to be a quick one tonight. But tonight kicks off our Thanksgiving fundraiser. And uh, I'm going to get a little, uh, I'm going to get a little serious, a little sappy on you. So um, here we are at, good evening, Liz. Um, 945 on Thursday night to 12th. So we got about, I don't know, today's Thursday, right? So I think we got three weeks till Christmas or something, or Christmas, what? Three weeks till Thanksgiving, maybe two weeks. I forget. Three weeks, I think. Um, you like that, Jennifer Stone? I was hoping you guys would notice it. Oh, look at this. I can't do it. Here, er, 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 where? How am I getting there? Here we go. Hog baits. We'll take a quick commercial. Brought to you by Hog baits. If you're not using Hog baits, are you even fishing? Local. Two youngsters from town. I can't get it because it's backwards on a thing. Two, two young gentlemen, local kids, two of the nicest kids you ever meet in your life, created this and uh, invented this. They also have a Facebook page. Go there, stay there, learn it, and use it. Only if you want to catch fish. If you want to be the guy who drops the hook and goes home and tells everybody he didn't catch anything today, don't go to hog baits. If you want to be the guy that has a Facebook full of you catching fish, go to hog baits. Kids are doing a great job. Um, so... As we know, 2020 is crazy, and as we know, Thanksgiving is coming up in a few weeks. So, what I want to do is, is I've I've um, partnered with, and I will tell you who it is in a minute, but I partnered with this local church here in Naugatuck that has a food pantry, and they have an overwhelming response of people who need help from the food pantry. Listen, the bars, the restaurants, these waiters, these waitresses, these bartenders, a lot of them aren't working or not getting hours like they used to be. Um, thank you, Wendy. And, um, uh, we're going to help there's people in the service industry that are, you know, they're not working. There's a lot of people not working with the shutdowns and the stay homes and the hours cut and everything. So remember when you were a little kid and Thanksgiving was coming and you knew how great Thanksgiving was because you had the turkey and the stuffing and, um, you knew that you're battling your brothers. I was battling my brothers for the skin because we all love the skin on the turkey. And as you know, Robert and I had a, we had a group up because to try to get food away from the gal was <laughs> not the greatest. Um, he fought for his food like a champ. But um, that's, that's what we want to do. Um, I've learned today from the people at the pantry that $50 will feed a, one family. It'll feed them from the turkey, the stuffing, the potatoes, all the way to the pie. Okay. Now, I'm not saying you have to donate $50. I'll take $1. I'll take $10. I'll take $15, $20, whatever you got. Um, but as we talked about on Saturday night, I have a lofty goal. I would like to raise, this is the worst meter ever, but I would like to raise $2,000. So far, we've raised $200, and um, I'd like to get that cranked up tonight. So first things first is... The name of the church we're going to group with is called, I'm going to go to its page, and I won't be able to see you guys, but it's it's the River Naugatuck Valley Foursquare Church. And they have a food pantry there. And I'm on their Facebook page right now, and they're in high demand. There are families right here in our local community that need the food pantry service. And I think the worst thing possible that could happen is that these people don't get Thanksgiving dinner or they can't supply a Thanksgiving dinner for their family. So with the great help of the food pantry at the River Food Pantry, which is what they call it at the River Naugatuck Valley Four Square Church, um, it's called the River Food Pantry. And I'm going to visit there next week and I'm going to meet with Pastor Chris, who I've been talking to. And um, Pastor Chris and I are going to, I'm going to interview him a little bit. He's going to tell us a little bit about what he does. So not only am I a certified A1 goofball, but I also I also do um, very um, nice things when I can. Um, and the stones, we just hit fifty dollars from the stones. Okay, so the stones just hit me with the fifty dollar 
first $50 donation of the night. And what you didn't know yet, Stone family, is that the first $50 donation tonight is getting a $50 gift certificate to Tuck's Tavern. So congratulations, Stone family. You just donated the first 50, you get a $50 gift certificate to Tuck Taverns. Tuck's Tavern. And if you haven't been to Tuck's Tavern and you're not doing your takeout food there and you're not trying the food that they have at that place, you're doing it wrong because that place is absolutely phenomenal. Not to mention the service is absolutely wonderful. It's um, so congratulations, Stones. And I think that is awesome. I, thought, I think that Jen, Jennifer Stone, thank you. I love you. Ken Stone, thank you. I love you. <clears throat> JD, Blake, and my man Lodes, I love you too. Uh, Wendy just asked a great question. She's saying, where can I donate? Okay, here's what you can do. And I'm going to put up all of the things at the end of this. I'm going to do a nice post at the end of this live. I have Apple Pay. And I have Venmo, you can get it to me and I will get it to them. Okay. Or I will put up the Rivers Facebook page and they also have a website where you can donate directly to the food pantry. Only thing we ask is that you put it that it's from Live with Johnny. So we can track who donated through this and we can thank you later on. Um, so I'm going to put up all the connections, all the ways to pay, all the ways to um, donate. Uh, Wendy says she can't hear me. Anybody else on Instagram can't hear me? Instagram, are we there? Um, hopefully Instagram can hear me. Tell me, can you hear me? Tell me, can you hear me? I think the volume's up. Let me know if you can hear me now. All right, Wendy, you can hear me now. Okay. So I, what I was saying, I have Apple Pay and I have Venmo. But I'm going to be putting up the link to the church after this after this live. I'll put up another post. And they have a Facebook page that will link you to their website and you can donate directly um, to the pantry and make sure you click the donate to the pantry. And if you could, everyone just put it in live with Johnny so that we know where it came from um, so that we can thank all of you after. Robert Koval. Robert Koval just put me down for 50, another $50. Folks, that's another $100 tonight. So we all together as a family get to go a little bit higher on the board. Look at us, huh? Look at us. We are at $400, ladies and gentlemen. Listen, it's been a crazy year, right? And we couldn't, uh, none of you watching or any of us that are, any of you that are going to be watching this, could you imagine not being able to put Thanksgiving dinner on the table for your family? What, what, the, what the River um, uh, Food Pantry is going to be able to do is they're going to purchase these 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 this uh, dinner for fifty dollars. They're getting it from Walmart, and you literally get everything from the turkey to the potatoes to the stuffing, a couple of the other fixings, uh, and, and right down to the apple pie or whatever pie, pumpkin pie maybe, whatever pie they decide. Fifty dollars, we can get these people this food. And as of right now, we just bought eight families dinner, eight families dinner. Th this is phenomenal. This is phenomenal. Um, I, I think I'm so happy. You know we. It's in a year where I have a lot to be thankful for. Listen, man, you guys don't even know. Uh, thank you very much, Wendy. I'll have it all. I'll do the information tonight. If you don't see the information tonight because I get lazy, you will definitely see it tomorrow morning. But I will definitely try to get it done tonight. There's a lot to put in there. I'm going to connect all the dots. We're going to put everything in there. Um, this is phenomenal. Phenomenal. And listen, like I said, I know I'm a certified A1 goofball, but um, I have a lot to be grateful for. Listen. Got a family who tolerates me. I've got friends who tolerate me. I've got a great job um, and, and a dog that seems to apparently like me from time to time. And I have a 21-year-old son who likes to spend a couple of minutes a week with me. So I, I got it. I got it going on. You know what I mean? Plus, um, you know, as you can see right now, you're looking. I'm I'm pretty darn handsome. So I've got a lot to be grateful for. So I think we need to spread the gratefulness. Robert and Christy Koval, thank you so much. Jen and Ken Stone and the boys, thank you so much. Um, Bob, Bob's, Rob Koval's son also plays down at the, in the league that I um, coach at. So these are great families. I know that. And uh, I can't thank you guys enough for doing it. We're up to $400. Who's excited? We're about to blow away the $500 mark. All right. How exciting is that? I'll have another gift for the for uh, Saturday night when we throw it out there, another little, little trinket. Um, to go. Um, I'll tell you right now, um, the next person to donate 20 bucks, 20 bucks, 
I will, I will show up. Um, I will show up to whatever restaurant we can, and I will buy you a shot and a beer. All right. 20 bucks. I'm buying a shot and a beer. Um, VJ, I'm not sure. I got to check. I got to check what I have for prizes, VJ. Um, ah, Kristen Prieto. Um, Kristen Prieto is, is, is going to donate as well. Kristen, that's okay. Uh, after this, I'm going to put the, the link directly to the church and you can use your credit card right over on their website and you can get it done. Um, so you don't need Apple Pay or Venmo to do those things. Um, we're going to make it really easy for you. Put up all the links and all the connections. Heck, you can even send a check. There's enough time before Thanksgiving. I don't know if people are still, still doing checks anymore. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Monica, Monica says done. Monica is going to donate as well. All right, folks. Um, make sure, like I say, when you do it, um, uh, I'm sorry, I'm reading a text message. Um, we make sure you put in live from Johnny when you donate so that Pastor Chris knows where it's coming from, because we do want to thank everybody when all of this is said and done. Um, and quite selfishly, I kind of want to see where we landed on this and see how much we raised with the good people who watch Live with Johnny, um, which I'm blown away already um, with the Stones and the Kovals and Kristen and Monica and everybody jumping right into the rip and wanting to go and Wendy and everybody just being so generous and wanting to help. Listen, uh, I used to work at a bar. Uh, I know what you're thinking. They probably didn't make any money in at the time. We made a ton of money because uh, customers drank as much as much as we did. Uh, true story, asked John. Um, we uh, we um, sorry, I, I'm trying to read at the same time and I can't read and talk at the same time. I wanted to see more kids. I wanted to see more kids. They're great. Uh, I to learn as much as I could. Uh, we, we, we want to thank everybody for it and we, we'll get you all the information and there's a million ways that you can help pay. And uh, like I said, I think you can still send check. There's enough time, but all of them, I don't know if anybody's doing check anymore or is it just, you know, um, 80 year old woman. I always seem to get behind it, stop and shop and write a check. Um, which, hey, whatever she's got to do. Now, listen, we think of that 80 year old woman and we think of the waiters and the waitresses and the bartenders and the service people who are getting destroyed by this nonsense of not being able to, you know, stay open all the time or only dine in a certain amount of percentage. So not everybody's getting hours and not everybody's getting tips. And we all know anybody who's ever worked in the service field, your tips are everything. So I think we help them with Thanksgiving. And I think a big part of helping them with Thanksgiving and taking away the burden of putting Thanksgiving dinner on the table is they get to save money for the next thing, which is Christmas, which we can get away with you know, spaghetti on Thanksgiving if we have to, but we can't get away with not having a couple of things under the tree for the kids. Um, so if we alleviate the pressure at Thanksgiving, it just gives them that much more leeway. And I think that's what we want to do. We want to feed them and we want to take some pressure off of them. Those of us that are still working and haven't stopped working, or even those of us who saved well and are in a position to do so, um, you know, I, I think we, it's our it's our obligation. I hate to put that pressure on you, but I think it is. Uh, Jack Colwell, I want to bring him up again. He was our first one hundred dollar donation on on Saturday night. Thank you, Jack. I doubled his, not doubled, I matched. So he and I were the first two hundred dollars. Now we're up to four hundred. I've got other people who are going to donate after this. This is amazing. Um, it's so great. Listen, winter's coming. They have to worry about Christmas. They have to worry about the heat. Let's help them put the turkey and stuff on the table so we don't have to worry about that. Let's do that. Uh, Chris Baxter is just commenting now, Pastor Baxter, in our um, comment section. I'm going to read it um, so that everybody can hear the information just in case you're not following the comments. Uh, Pastor Baxter says that people can send checks to the church as well. Make the check out to the River Church, 14 Salem Street, Naugatuck, and put Live with Johnny in the note on the check. And he put a big smile face there. And I'll put all of that into the Facebook post after this, and I'll also share it on Instagram. Um, what Pastor Chris and, and the River have been doing uh, before all this is amazing. They got their food pantry. They're delivering it to people if they need it. They're not just, you know, trying to get their message across. They don't care who shows up, and they don't care who needs help. They're for everybody. They are helping everyone who needs help, and they're, and they're 
talking to anyone who wants to listen and they're listening to anyone who wants to talk. What is what I'm learning is that uh, this the river is just a place for you to be comfortable and be at home. Um, I myself, I'm going to go sit in and uh, and pay it forward over there for all the kindness that they've been doing. I think the least I can do is go sit and listen to what's going on. Um, I'm going to visit with Pastor Chris next week, and you guys are going to see a little interview I'm going to do with him, and he's going to tell us all about the River Food Pantry and all about what we want to do, and um, maybe even get a little funny in. But we're going to lay off the funny tonight. We want to get the message across, but I am going to drink a little water. Um, you know, I, like I was saying, I still have a lot to be grateful for. I, I'm still not feeling well. I was sick again this week. I got another little relapse of the pneumonia thingy and, um, I'm on more medicine and I'm home from work for a couple of days because my body needs to rest, but I've been working through this whole thing and I'm grateful enough to be in a position to help people. And I think that those of us who can should, like I said, Christmas is coming, cold weather's coming. Let's alleviate the Thanksgiving thing. Let's put the food, let's help them put the food on their table so they can save the money to eat and for, put a couple of things under the tree for the kids because we all know how heartbreaking it can be to be able to put a couple of things underneath the tree. So that being said, I've only been on for 17 minutes. Um, because I'm okay, we wanted to get the point across. Um, I'll put up, like I said, all the information. Uh, my friend VJ has a deli and something else. He was saying that we could even get VJ's information out there. Um, I won't do that right yet, just because I think we have enough V uh, between myself and the river to get everybody paid. But if somebody requests those things, I will get you VJ's information, and VJ will get the money right over to Pastor Chris, because Pastor Chris and VJ know each other very well. VJ is a former Naugatuck resident who moved down south, and um, he's got a heart of gold, and he will help us no matter how much uh, help we need. Um, so that's it. And for those of you who haven't watched the full video, Please do it. And here's what I'm going to say. Here's the next thing I'm going to do. I'm going to beg a little bit, okay? Since I've started live with Johnny, and since I've been doing this, I've been asking you guys every time to share, comment, tell your friends, tell your friends. Um, quite honestly, you haven't been doing it. I'm, I'm going to ask you tonight, and for this reason, to share this video when it's done, and then the post that follows it with all the payment information, I want to see you guys sharing this like wildfire. I want you to share it. I want you to comment on it, like it, make it so the people that are on you or that are scrolling through their stuff and see your page can see what we are doing. The more people that see this, the more help we're going to be able to, um, to give. Now, listen, $50 is a lot of money. Excuse me. So if you don't have $50, it doesn't have to be $50. $1 gets us $49 closer to the next meal. $10 gets us 40 bucks closer. You can probably figure out the rest of the math. You're all in hope. Um, only reason I stopped is because I didn't want to make a mathematical error live on Facebook and Instagram for all of you to break my stones later on. Um, so please, I'm, 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 I really am. I'm begging. I'm begging you that you um, share this tonight. Let's get the word out. Let's do something good. Let's do something grateful together. Okay. Now I said the next person that donates $20, just $20, your gift for donating $20 right now is I will show up to the restaurant or bar of your choice and I will buy you a shot of beer and, and I'll give you a big hug. Okay. Um, so if that's worth $20 to you, throw it down and uh, your next shot and your beer is on me. Um, as soon as I'm feeling better, which be next week. Next week, I'll meet you for a bottle of beer. I don't drink. I won't be drinking because of the medication, but I will gladly buy you yours. I will live vicariously through you, and then I'll hug your face that so I can smell it. All right? So, like I said, I'm going to put the River's information up there, the River Food Pantry at Pastor Chris. Read about them. Read about the great things that you're doing. Now, this isn't me just trying to promote a church and trying to get you. That's not what this is at all. This is just me trying to put you in touch with good people who are doing good things for people who need it. No ulterior motive, no underlying pressure of anything, just good people doing good things. And I'm glad that I met up with Coach Chris. I call him Coach Chris. Uh, you can call him Pastor Chris, or you could just call him Chris. I don't think he'd mind. Um, but Coach Baxter, Pastor Baxter, Chris Baxter, um, a man of many names. Um, 
He's doing great things over there, and I'm glad I met him. Um, he's a very, uh, he's a very friendly, good dude. And um, what she say? Uh, he says we should do. Dude, dude will take hug, but no beer, maybe Cosmo. Hey, whatever you're drinking, shot in a beer, Cosmo in a beer, Cosmo in a shot, two Cosmos, whatever it is, you get two of whatever, and uh, that's what it's gonna be. The next twenty dollars that comes through. All right, I've been on now for 20 minutes. I'm going to wait another 10 minutes for a $20 donation to come through. Um, for everybody who's already donated tonight or is going to donate tonight, thank you so much. Um, I think it's fantastic. Um, if there's Now, listen, I got some friends out there. Listen, some people I've known since, since I was five years old, some people I've known since I was 20 years old. Some of you people make some good money, all right? Now's not the time to be squeezing the wallets, guys. Hit me up. A couple of you guys got my uh, Venmo. Hit it up. Let's help some people, okay? And I'm and if those of you who can't, this is what I want you to do. If you can't donate, if you're not a place to donate, I want you to do two things. I want you to share this information so that we can get it to the people who are in a position to do it. Because not everybody is. We know that. But the second thing is, if you happen to be watching this right now, and you're one of those people who, if you're one of those people who cannot put Thanksgiving, sorry, I was reading again. If you're one of the people, if you're watching this and you're someone who cannot put Thanksgiving dinner on your table, let me know. Let me know. We will put Thanksgiving dinner on your table if we have to. Thank you, Christy. Hugs back to you. VJ, who moved to North Carolina, just donated $20. And said that I have to go to Carolina to do that. So that's a lot of pressure on me, folks. But BJ, you know I'm coming down as soon as they say we can leave our houses. Now I think every state in the, in the union is, uh, we can't go anywhere. But uh, the VJ, the second, he already knows. Wait to spend $20 on a beer and a shot with that guy and kiss his feet. Um, you know, he likes that. Get his consent. Um, but really, all right. So, DJ, thank you so much. I love you. Um, but now, local resident, next twenty dollars that comes in. So, what if we know? We, what if we know since? What if we've known you since you were fifty? Ah, do I look fifty? Oh, come on, Sharon. I'm over here trying to. Uh, I'm trying to look young. Maybe I gotta shave it off. It's the grays that give it away, but I look distinguished. You know, I'm a good-looking guy. I don't think I look fifty. Right? I'm forty-three. I probably look like I'm. I don't know. I'm kidding. I look like I'm 63 years old. But, uh, listen, we're doing a lot of good. We got seven minutes for a local resident to donate that $20. And I'm going to buy you a shot and a beer. All right. And I'm going to give you a big hug when you're drinking your shot and your beer. Going to post all the information for the for a way to pay. Check out the River Foursquare Church. Check out their food pantry. And like I said, there's no pressure. The church... The church is just doing good things. They are good people doing good things for people who need help. And I can't even tell you how much I appreciate that um, out of them. And I'm glad that I read up on them. I asked Coach uh, Chris about this. About a month ago, I had the idea. And I said, hey, listen, I got this idea. But I wasn't sure he'd want to be me to do that because, you know, you think church, you don't necessarily think live with Johnny because, you know. But, hey, I can behave when needed and uh, um I just really want to do this. I want to do this nice. For those of you paying attention, coming in, we've got a two thousand dollar goal. We're up to four hundred dollars. Okay, okay. Um, so actually, I shouldn't say that. We're up to four hundred and twenty dollars uh, with VJ. So we're at four twenty, and I would love to get to five hundred tonight. So hopefully, after this is all done and logged off, um, I will see or hear from Coach Chris and/or check my Venmo or my Apple Pay or whatever I got, and uh, we'll see who's donated. Last call for me to say this. We're off in five minutes. Last call for me to say this. I've been asking you since the beginning of Live with Johnny to share stuff. There it is. Stephanie just came through. Stephanie just came through with $20. Okay? Stephanie, next week, shot in a beer on me. Um, wherever I shall meet you, Stephanie. Thank you so much for your kindness. We are now at 440 with Stephanie's. Lauren, Lauren, I just got something from Lauren. Lauren, um, it looks like, I want to say that that's Lauren Hill. Correct me if I'm wrong. Right? Ella's mom. I believe that was you. 
You're a wonderful human being, you. Um, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do, Lauren. Um, since you and Stephanie were kind of tied, I could throw you in for a shot and a beer too. You just let me know. I don't know who's still drinking these days or who still even wants to hang out with me these days. Um, Jack Colwell's here. He has two questions. Number one, where's Hazel? He says, I will get you a shot of Hazel before the end of this video, video Jack. I swear to God. Jack's, Jack's uh, also number two. He's going to get us that donation that he offered on Saturday night tomorrow. Thank you, Lauren Hill. I knew it was you. I just wasn't sure. I didn't want to say the long, long I didn't want to say the wrong Lauren, and then um, you not. I want to say thank you to you. Um, please let me know if I could do anything to help. It's funny you should say that. Pastor Chris did note tonight, as in our talking, that he said, "Listen, we can tell the people that not only can they donate, but this food has to be delivered. This food has to be brought to these families." When Chris, Coach Chris and I are going to talk next week, and we're going to tell you that there's a way for you to not only help, not only donate. Monetary, monetarily help, but you're also, if you would like, can help out at the food pantry and help this all get facilitated. And um, uh, she says, I'm killing, killing me softly with his song, telling my whole life. Thanks, Lauren. You got that stuck in my head now. Pastor Chris says that not only that, but we can help. We can help get this stuff delivered. I'm going to be down there a couple of times in the next couple of weeks. I'm going to be doing an interview with Pastor Chris. Then I'm going to um, I'm going to be getting some more information, maybe doing a live when we're getting all the food together. So um, it's a great thing we're all doing here together. Something we can feel good about, those of us who can. And those of us who can't, I'm asking you greatly. The post I put together so I can get out there, let's get out there. Uh, Lauren says she has a minivan, and she'll gladly help with that. That is fantastic. And also, I'm totally making fun of you for having a minivan, okay? The soccer mom. How you doing there, soccer mom? Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, uh, Jack Colwell says he'd gladly help deliver. That is his business. Jack Colwell, I think, is a postmaster somewhere. Right? This kid, this is a guy who does this for a living. Um, so look at all the help we're getting and all, all the monetary help and all the other help we're getting. It's phenomenal. Um, before I wrap up, I'm at the 28-minute mark. Um, we're going to share. For, I know I'm going fast. But I just needed to get the initial message out there so I can get the initial post out there. But you're gonna hear I'm gonna be I'm gonna be spamming you guys with this for the next three weeks. Three weeks, I think it's three weeks. I don't even know, right? So do we got next it'll be the 19th, and then the next one will be the 26th. No, so yeah, maybe we got two weeks. I don't even know. Two weeks. We got two weeks. And we're gonna promote the heck out of this thing, and we're just gonna uh we are going to um Spam you guys with this because this is a great opportunity to help us to do something good. Um, oh, Lawrence. Uh, somewhere in America, Jack says, I just couldn't remember where, Jack. I apologize. But I know that uh, you're a smart, handsome, very um, generous man. That I do know about you. Um, yes, Chris Baxter's telling me two weeks. So uh, for some reason, I had three weeks in my head, but it's two weeks. Monica's telling me two weeks now. Everybody's yelling at me two weeks. Um, this is phenomenal. All right. So we're at 440 bucks right now. I'm going to get off in a couple of minutes so that we can get the next post up and I can get all the rivers information out there. And as I post that, any additional information that Pastor Baxter wants you guys to know, he's going to be putting it up there. And um, and you're going to meet Chris, uh, Chris Baxter next week. He's a very nice, handsome, smart man who's doing good things with good people to help people out. Um, Christy says, hope you're feeling better. Two weeks till Thanksgiving. I'm feeling okay. Um, I feel myself, the more I talk, I'm getting a little winded, but uh, I'm taking care of myself. Um, I'm taking the rest that I need. Um, I um, take a few days off from work. I'm going to go back to work on Monday. And uh, I just try to get around this corner. It just seems like one thing after another, but uh, it is what it is. Um, um, but I can't complain. People have had it much worse than I've had. So. That being said, we're about to hit the 30 minute mark and I wanted to keep this at about 30 minutes. So we threw a lot of info at you, kind of went a little bit fast, but you're going to get all of the info as soon as I'm done and it's going to be on another post. But remember this video on Instagram and on Facebook. Share it, please. I always ask this one. I really mean it. Get this one out there and do me a favor when you share it and it says you can say something nice or you can say something nice. As would you like to say something about this post? I think it says, 
just say help do help us do good things or help us you know put something up there so your friends and your family see that we're trying to do something um yes monica good point all my posts are public um i'm making sure of it if anybody has a problem with it let me know um before we go we'll show you this one more time hopefully on saturday night when i hopefully on saturday night when i see you guys it'll be raised much higher um so uh you know i love all of you and we're doing some great thing together um uh i can't i just you guys are the greatest group of people and uh you know listen selfishly live with johnny it's going to help me but it's even going to help people to know that they should be in uh uh they should be watching live with Johnny too and be a part of the, the family because look how good the people here are and who doesn't want to be part of a good group of a good group of people. And speaking of a good group of people, the river four square church and the river food pantry, those are good people. And that's why I connected myself with them. And they're doing great things. We're going to do great things to help you. So uh, Christy says she's going to kick my ass, kick my ass if I don't get better and give me the treatment if needed. So Hazel, Hazel, come here. Come here. People want to see your face. Come here. Come here. Come here. Say hello. Come in. Come here. Come here. Say hello. Say hello. Hazel. Tell the people. Say, do good stuff for good people. Help them eat Thanksgiving. I like Thanksgiving. Thank you, Hazel. So that's it. We're done. We are done. And uh, I'm going to go put a post together and I'm going to get it out there and I'm going to share it all. And I'm going to ask all of you to do the same thing. Okay. Just remember, man, people need our help. It's our, it's, it's our, uh, it's our obligation to help if we can. And, you know, money isn't always the only way to help. You can help us deliver it. You can help Pastor Chris put the food together. You can help him get everything together. You can help him deliver it and you can share this page and you can get the word out and that's helping. Okay, it's not all about the money. Helping in any way you can. I love all of you. And uh, I'm going to end it by saying, Mr. Falcha, I'm still thinking about you every day, as is everyone. We love you. And we hope you continue to make progress. And Mr. C, I love you. And um, I love you. I love you. And uh, your progress as well. And we're all going to have so much to be thankful for this year. So let's help each other do that. I love you. Reach out to your friends. Like I always say, reach out to the ones who aren't reaching out. Those are the ones who need us. Text or call somebody you haven't talked to in a while. Ask them how they're doing. Tell them you're thinking about them. It means a lot. I love you guys. Good night. Stay tuned for more information. Share the crap out of this thing. That might be the only swear I said tonight. It was better than me. I love you guys.